Still in local news, the latest weekly economic indicators released by the Central Bank of Sri Lanka reveals that the total national debt has increased by over 27%. According to the statistics at the central bank, the total debt value stood at 7,368.9 billion rupees at the end of September 2014. At the end of December 2016, that value had increased to 9,387.3 billion rupees. The total debt of the country has gone up to 10,269.1 billion rupees, according to the weekly economic indicator published by the central bank on the 6th of April 2018. However, Prime Minister Rani Vikramasinghe, speaking at several occasions, has said that the government is repaying the debt that was obtained by the previous government. Questions arise as to how the debt values have been increasing over the years if the government has been repaying the debt. The overall debt has increased by 2,900.1 billion rupees from 2014 to 2018. <laughs> By 2015, our post-war debt doubled. We were in a situation where we were unable to pay back the loans obtained both locally and internationally. That is why an election was held. They obtain massive loans now. The repayment period for these loans have commenced. Now we can't do anything because we are simply repaying the loans. We have to pay loans for the next 10 years. We have to pay a sum of 32.19 billion US dollars in loans. Sri Lanka economy is navigating through a period of transformation amid global turbulences. From about 2006, our country engaged in incurring a high level of debt. When considering the public debt service payments based on the outstanding debt as at the end of August 2017, we have to pay 1,974 billion rupees in 2018. We will have to pay 1,515 billion rupees in 2019. It means we have to pay more than 3,489 billion in 2018 and 2019 for debt servicing. We fear whether there will be a country left for us when we see what is happening. Some people are constantly asking questions about the debt burden. This is a baseless lie. We did not have any debt burden whatsoever. We took loans within our capacity to make repayments. In these two years alone, this government has taken about 10.5 billion in loans. These were short-term loans, repayable in 12 months. The loans we took were repayable in 20 years, 25 years or even 40 years. There is a difference in the situation. They are stuck now when trying to repay their loans. They have done nothing. We cannot see anything that they have done with the 10.5 billion that they have taken in loans.